Hey guys, so today I want to talk about Carvana's stock and one of the reasons why it may be popping up around 12 to 15% here in the last week. And if you look at the chart, it seems like it's just out of nowhere because their price right now is sitting around $80 when only one week ago it was around $92. And if you look here at their earnings call, it was absolutely abysmal. They didn't make the earnings that people were expecting and I, I, like look how look how bad this graph is. It's under 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 and in the last three quarters where COVID-19 wasn't even affecting the stock, they were making substantially lower and lower revenues here. And as a result of that, the stock hadn't really been growing over the last year or so. However, if we look at the chart now, you can see that they've had an extremely large rebound here in the last week. And if I had to say one reason why, I think that it's as a result of the fact that Carvana is one of the only used car companies that focuses primarily on online car shopping. Now with Carvana, you can't really go into a store and purchase a car. You have to see it online and they have a lot of factors that can help you determine whether or not this is a good buy or not. And they have a mobile app that is honestly very successful and I personally know a relative who has bought a car through Carvana and they are very satisfied with their experience and say that they literally saw everything they needed to know through the app and through the information given. So this is a very developed service and a lot of people are happy with their car buying purchase through Carvana. Now what may, one of, what may be one of the reasons is mainly speculation here as well because of the fact that a lot of people are expecting them to rebound from the very, very weak quarter th or quarter three earnings of 2019 that I showed you guys in the earnings reports there. And the fact that that earnings was so far below could honestly be related to COVID-19. However, in the next earnings report that they share, they probably won't be as badly hurt by, by this pandemic and by the fact that they haven't been selling cars because most of their business is online. Now, what's another thing that we can think about Carvana is that uh, they honestly are a company that's very new. So a lot of people might not know what exact price to value their stock at. You can see from this, uh, from this tag right here that they only had an IPO around 2017. So that's around two years ago. And there's not a lot of economic data on how Carvana could be doing and things like this. Now with other car retailers closing and with companies like Hertz closing, we can probably expect Carvana to be selling more to regular consumers. Now, a lot of Carvana's business was probably related to rental cars and things like this, but with all those companies closing and with all those companies unfortunately taking a big loss during the COVID season and not being able to uh, rent out their cars during the travel seasons, which is summer, one of the biggest travel seasons all year, they've been being very hurt. And you can see that Carvana's stock popped However, I don't think that this is a healthy pop that could continue happening. So what exact play did I make on Carvana stock here? Now, I went in and as I tell you guys always, you can make more money selling options than buying them here, guys. And you need to be very careful with which ones you sell or buy because as you can see here, I bought the, or sorry, I sold the 108. So what that means is that I don't think that it's going to go above the 108. So I sold the call. If I would have sold the 108 put, that means that I don't think it would go below 108. However, as I told you guys before, these types of speculation pops usually come with a large pullback as a result because of the fact that the stock is only moving because of speculation. So if people can speculate that it goes upwards, they can also have a large speculation that it will go downwards here, guys. So I bet the st I got a credit of around $30. And what that means is that essentially I get the $30 up front and the more the contract comes to zero, the more profit I can make. And as you can see here, I could have got a better price, a lot better price, $137. So at this point, I'd be over $100 into the money, which honestly, guys, I regret not buying a second one here. But like I said, look how close this is to $108. I'm playing some very risky games here, guys. And if I didn't do technical analysis to know around what uh, price the stock was going to be resting at, then I would honestly be very worried about not selling this contract. You can see that it went down all the way to around $10 today, $2.
and I could have sold out and taken a profit, but instead I decided to wait and see if I can if I can get all the money or if I can honestly just see where Carvana's options are sitting, then maybe for next week I can make an even better play. You know what I mean, guys? So a lot of the times I may even hold this contract just for the learning experience. You can see that I bought it for, th or sorry, I got $30 credit and I'm up $3 right now because the closer it goes to zero, the more money I make. And honestly, guys, I'm in no rush to sell this. They expire on Friday, so every day they get closer to Friday, it's more likely that I'm going to be making money here. So I'm not very worried about them. If I had these for three months out, then I definitely would have sold them when they hit $0, when they hit $10 even. And basically, what I want to show you guys is that you have to be in the contracts to learn these type of things, guys. Now, I could have just bought this yesterday and sold it today and honestly learned a lot about the way these kind of contracts move, but I didn't. I decided to hold it instead because I'm already very knowledgeable on how it works, and you guys can see that I'm, I'm going to be making around a $30 profit here if the stock does close below 108, which it is very poised to. As you can see here in the last day, they actually made a run-up all the way to $112, and that's why I'm telling you guys, if you make your analysis and if you're confident in your position, then hold that position because... What happens is a stock can go higher or below what you first analyzed and what you first thought. However, this doesn't mean that the stock will not pull back. And after major moves, most stocks tend to pull back. Now, if you see DraftKings here, they went all the way to around $45 and have now pulled back to around the $39 range. This is another story of a stock that rocketed and then at the top of its range pulled back. So now you can expect DraftKings or Carvana to be within a $108 range or within a $150 range or 15, sorry. So yeah, that's the way that you kind of see what a stock is pricing in, where people think is the upper limit and where people think is the limit of what they are worth here, guys. So yeah, if you want to make money, guys, like I always say, sell contracts instead of buying them. You can see that week over week, I turn a profit because I'm selling contracts and because I'm able to do strong analysis here and know what price I can expect for a stock. And because of this, even as the market continues to skyrocket up, today it hit around 310, which is another historic historic high, we can see that I'm still able to keep this stock under the price that I thought. So I'm able to sell calls even when the rest of the market is buying them, and that can possibly increase my profit here, guys. So yeah, keep a close eye on these stocks, guys. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe the video, and good luck with those profits.